Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to give you a quick overview of this PC that I just put together. I'm gonna be creating more videos using it, uh, gaming and other stuff. Also, some uh, running some be benchmarks. Leave me a comment with any suggestions. All right, so he, he has the AMD Ryzen 5 5600GT. It's a new variant, basically, of the 5600G. Uh, this was released now in 2024. S same thing all around except um, you know same TDP is also 6 core 12 thread um, the only difference is that the base clock on this is slightly lower 3.6 instead of 3.9 gigahertz but the turbo boost is slightly higher so 200 megahertz faster uh, so instead of 50 uh, 4400 megahertz sorry it's actually turbo boosting to 4600 megahertz all right so my motherboard is this asrock b450m steel legend it's a, it's a pcie gen 4 but this processor it's only pcie gen 3 that's all it supports ram 16 gigs of ddr4 3200 megahertz here's all the information about it it's a uh, xpg by a data xpg d50 and the graphics card uh, it has an iGPU, so it's the rise. Um, you know, it's an iGPU, so the AMD Radeon uh, Vega 7. And um, yeah, so my main graphics card is actually this. I had it on a small form factor. I know a lot of people don't like this card a lot, but to be honest, uh, the 3050 6 gigabytes low profile, uh, it's for what it's meant to be, it's actually a great card a bit expensive but come on so no external power needed on up to 70 watts so we can run off the uh, PCIe port it's a uh, compact very compact and um, it's a dual slot but um, the only card that will beat this without using any external power it's actually the RTX a2000 and it's almost double the price I had the RX 6400 and the ARC A380 and those two uh, you know don't yeah don't even touch the uh, the speeds on this card except you know the ARC A380 gets a little closer but still um, so yeah let me just one thing first time I go AMD so one thing I noticed was the CPU it runs a little hot out here right now my room temp is actually 68 degrees so um i don't have the ac on it's just a cool night thanks god um so if you have your ac i mean if you have the stock cooler the uh, wraith stealth look just look at this when you're gaming look at these uh let me see where's the temp come on oh sorry uh right here uh wait wait right here sorry look at those temps how they went up right here so gaming you will see like 80 to 89 sometimes 90 uh, celsius that's when the load is in between 50 to 75 percent if you load it you know like this bench running a benchmark with the stock cooler it will reach 95 and then thermal throttle so in order to prevent this i mean i won't even do any overclocking unless you get uh, an aftermarket cooler that can you know that has a 125 watt TDP you know like the rating for cooling one 125 watts or 150 like better cooler period uh, otherwise now nah, gaming is fine but make sure the room temp is not too high because the other day it was like 80 degrees out here and even gaming uh, it was reaching like 95 degrees so like 94 ish yeah almost 95 sometimes a little bit above 95 so I don't like that I like my CPUs to go color look uh, let me stop it now because yeah 40 94.9 once he hit he, he, you know it reaches 95 then you know then it's an issue um, so yeah that's about it so one thing about the graphics card uh, you can pause it to read all the all the information here resizable bar is enabled this is the memory clock speeds and um, it runs a PCIe Gen 
uh, 3x8 because of my processor but it's supposed to re to run at PCIe Gen 4x8 uh, even though it uses the 16 slot it only runs at 8 it only uses uh, 8 lanes so it says 1 because it's not like really in use once I start pushing it yeah PCIe Gen 3x8 so uh, and here I wanted to show you this so this will go up to like 1980 megahertz uh 1750 is the memory clock this is the temp it actually runs pretty cool to be honest uh even though it's very small and um and my case has it's like a fish tank it has you know not the best fans from the factory and it has glass in two like on two sides um, the fan will go up to like 2500 RPM, but gaming, like I see an average of 1900 to 2200, and um, sometimes a little lower. And uh, what else? Wattage, yeah, less than 70 watts. One thing you can always use this uh, MSI afterburner, afterburner, and overclock it. I had gone for extra 200 megahertz and 400 on the memory clock no or like 400 and 200 something like that uh, and you get a slightly better performance but I don't even push it a lot uh, to be honest yeah so yeah stays pretty cool uh, let me see 64 gaming for hours you will reach like 70 71 that's like max and uh, yeah that's about it oh actually before I forget uh, what am I doing? Oh, here, six cores, 12, 12 threads, 2.6 gigahertz up to 4.6. Like I said, 16 gigs of DDR4, 3200 megahertz, and uh, I have a one terabyte NVMe SSD, Gen 3 by 4. That's more than you know, more than enough for me. And uh, RTX 3050, like I said, six gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. It's GDDR6, and uh, the iGPU is actually the Radeon 7, Vega 7, 512 megabytes of uh, dedicated GPU, and it will use system memory to use it as VRAM. So if you have 16 or even more, it's way better. And if it's faster, like 3600 megahertz, or I've seen 4000 megahertz DDR4, even better you know you'll get a couple of extra fps on this on some games it's not like the craziest difference but it will help for sure but this is like fine so yeah thank you for watching and let's see what we're going to be playing now so this will be like my intro for some videos um just because i want to let people know what am i using like exactly one thing before i go all uh, right this was my result my last result on uh, Time Spy, and the best, oldest uh, result with the 5600 GT was actually mine too. It's right here. So uh, yeah, 5117, and now I got uh, 5162. Here are some of the details. And, uh, uh, you know, 67 uh, Celsius was the max temp it reached which is pretty good and these went up to 77 celsius m4 5600 gt rtx 3056 gigabytes and here ram uh 16 gigs at 3200 megahertz yep so thank you for watching and uh yeah let's see what we are playing now Hey guys, so I don't like to talk over my gameplay uh, anymore. Uh, I'll do it now just to you know tell you a bit more about you know, the, the way I'm, uh, I'm gonna set this up. So 1080p full screen uh, and using performance mode. Everything set to low except 3D resolution. I left that uh, set to 100, and I'm using the RTX 3050, not the Vega 7 with the iGPU on the 5600 uh, uh, GT. And uh, wow, what? Yeah, I set set it to limited FPS. Um, 
To be honest, I'd rather use DX12 and limit the FPS to 120. It's very stable, very smooth. It's like fine. And I need an external recorder. I'll buy Elgato external recorder. So. 40. so my top left corner, you can see uh, all the stats. You know, power consumption, temps, uh, clock speeds, and uh, fan speed for the graphics card, as well as the wattage. Uh, using about 10 gigs of RAM. And about, you know, Here we are seeing 200 plus FPS. Still, 150 over 180, and when we land, we should see better FPS. Maybe indoors. Let's see. Wait. Splash is still over 200 FPS. Uh, I don't know. I think the X12 is better, to be honest, at the end of the day. But. Yeah, like indoors, basically, here is indoors, you see over 200. Like I said, I see a little bit of stars. Uh, nothing crazy. Let me set the view on distance to... I'll go all the way to Epic right away from low. Uh, near to epic and then I'll change the textures after I finish this so let's see how many I feel like you know with better details what do we see so viewing distance set to epic and nice still way over 200 FPS I'm gonna build another computer uh, that will allow me to to play um, what you call it like for cheaper like this was about six hundred dollars just because I have the graphics card uh, you know, on a small form factor that was one hundred and eighty dollars but for one eighty or two hundred you can get like an RX sixty six hundred that will uh, outperform this or you can get um, what you call it. Um, can also get. Uh, I mean, as long as you don't go RGB, that, that was one thing I went uh, RGB, like uh, very well known brands. But you can get some decent uh, stuff, like good brands and whatever, and get like better performance. The same G uh, CPU or maybe the 5500 or uh, Ryzen 5 5500, uh, which has pretty pretty similar performance to this and with the RX 6600 and you will stay way over 300 FPS on a game like this look it's, it looks pretty pretty smooth I, I don't know if the uh, what you call it um, game bar is actually recording uh, super well because it's a lot of FPS and I'm actually using a 1080p uh, 48 inch uh, TV uh, yeah so let me just bring these texture, uh, textures Cheers to Epic. Yeah, let me go all the way to Epic right away. Okay. 
Okay. Better textures. And still above 200. Maybe you'll see it dipping under 200, but overall, pretty good. I didn't want to make this video too long, but I wanna I wanted to point out um, make as much details as possible. Oh my god! Anyway, so yeah, let me stop recording now. I'm gonna make this two hours long.